I have two chicken breasts here, and they have the bone in there. They're not, they are not boneless. I'm going to sprinkle a little garlic powder on them. Turn them over. Garlic powder. And some salt. Just sort of lightly salt them. Pepper, I picked some uh, sage leaves, so I'm going to put a couple of sage leaves on each one. This is the first time I've grown sage, so I'm not sure how much to use, so I'm just going to use a couple. I think that'd be enough anyway. And I'm going to take the chicken and put it into my crock pot. Just like, I think I'll do it like that. I also have some uh, green onions that I need to use up. So I'm going to throw these in there. You don't have to use any onion, but I thought, well, that'd be good. As a matter of fact, you can change it any way you like. So uh, we'll be right back. Next, I'm going to take some stovetop stuffing. Put that in a bowl. I'm going to add cream of chicken soup. Campbell's cream of chicken soup. Add this in there. And add two thirds cup chicken broth. I'm going to add a little bit of oregano. I love oregano, just a, a little bit in there. Maybe a fourth of a teaspoon. Get this all mixed up. In place, dollops of the uh, stuffing mix on top. Just put it in here in dollops to kind of spread it out. That and then spread it out a bit, just sort of like that. Put the lid on, turn it on high. After four hours in the crock pot, the chicken is done perfectly. It is nice and moist. And of course, the stuffing is wonderful as well. Hope you try this sometime. Thank you so much for watching.